Look, people, playing hard to get isn't about isn't just manipulation, right? Because you know you could say that playing hard to get is manipulation, right? Because you're you're intentionally hiding how you feel. But why is it that you don't call it that when it comes to other things, right? Like for example, when you're selling something, you you act like though a lot of people want what you're buying, right? If you're if you're trying to rent an apartment, um, you tell the, the the buyer that there's a lot of people trying to rent it. You know, for example, like yesterday I was trying to get an apartment, and as soon as and I got the sensation that not a lot of people wanted the apartment, right? But in my mind, I, I got thought about it. What if, what if a lot of people wanted this apartment? And she told me a lot of people want it. You know what I would have done? I would have made a decision. I, I would have made a decision on whether or not I want that apartment. So it's a strategy that we all use in everyday life, and we don't fuck and, and we don't cry about it when it comes to other things in life. Why is it that with dating and with relationships we just don't do that? And it, it, like we, we have to understand we are we are a product. Don't misconstrue yourself. You are a product, and your product is your body, who you are, right? You're offering your body so that you and this person, you know, evolutionarily can have kids. Okay, so what people are doing, they want to know that a lot of people want you. They want to know because it confirms to them that the decision that they're making is correct when they see other people want you. And it's not just that other people want you in the beginning of the relationship. It's that other people want you throughout your whole relationship. It validates their, their choice, seeing other people want you. But what we tend to do is that we tend to eliminate the competition just because we don't want them to feel insecure. And that's very normal and that's very healthy. That's a healthy state of mind. But the problem is that you're lowering your value. You are not understanding how what value truly is is value is not that you're God's child and then all of a sudden everyone recognizes that like no that's not how value works so yeah man um so that's so, so, so you have to understand you have to sort of change the way you see this game it's don't be moralistic about it the people who you're with will appreciate you when you're hard to get that's just how it is. Even though you see this person and you sense an unbelievable chemistry with them and you want to tell them how great the chemistry is don't tell them that because what you're really doing is that you just feel excited and and, and you and you just want to express those emotions and i get it you feel excited but what that does is that it actually pushes the other person away because they sense that they didn't have to try hard to get those emotions out of you and the problem with that is that people backward rationalize that you do that with, with everyone else. They backward rationalize that you do that with everyone. And let me tell you the sensation that you get when you feel, we've all been there with people who are great. Like, you know, you know, wow, they're really great. But because they're so easy, it kind of pushes, off, pushes us off a little bit because they're so easy. You get what I'm saying? So you have to understand that. That if you want to make sure that you get this person, in your life, you can't make it easy for them. Because if you make it easy, they're gonna unconsciously not respect you as much. And this is something that I think a lot of people feel, even though they may want you, but it's almost like, for example, like when I buy food, right, and it's and I buy Uber Eats, and the Uber Eats says two for one. Like if I order one, if I order one halal food, I'll get another one for free. Let me tell you something, man. I don't know why, but I don't like ordering that. Now, obviously, privilege, right, motherfucker, right? That, that's privilege and shit. I'm not even gonna lie, right? That, that's privilege. But there's something about the fact that I, since it's free, it might not be that good. That's just how we perceive it. And us humans see the same things with people because we sort, we are products to each other. So even if, they, if you want them more, hold back. Hold back to yourself. Sometimes you want to hug them a little bit more and you hug them all the time. Hold back a little bit. It's okay. They're, they're, they're not gonna hate you for that. Hold back a little bit. They respect restraint. And it forces them to behave in a polite way while restraining themselves, right? That's one thing that happens. It's just, it, it, it promotes, they, this restraint that they have will cause them to like you more because they're they're forced to behave. They're, they, like, for example, in meditation, one of the things about meditation is that if you don't move, the meditation becomes more intense. But why is it that it becomes more intense? It becomes more intense because you're exerting more self-control over your body. Like you're, you're, you're not just closing your eyes and, and just being there, but you're also not scratching your itches. You're also not moving. And that extra self-constraint causes the, the meditation to penetrate deeper in your mind. And the self-constraint, while in your presence, meaning, you know, they, they want you and, 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 and you get, they want more, but you're sort of being patient with it, 
causes them to it, your image to become more imprinted in their mind which causes them to respect you more because you're not that easy you know and and the reward of getting you in, it, 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 it makes them like you more because they had to fight a little bit more even though they, they could have had you day one you made them wait an extra month even though you could have been in a relationship today you made them wait a few more days or even a few weeks or a few more months. Even though you could have told them you loved them, you chose to show them you loved them through your actions. Even though you could have shown them how much you like them and, 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 and appreciate them, you, you rather learn to do it with your actions and not your words. It is frustrating, motherfucker. Like, tell me you like me. Yeah, you can say that. But it's better to just learn to express your love non-verbally. Always better from time to time you could express it verbally, but if you just learn to express that you like the person non verb non verbally through your actions, it's gonna be it's gonna penetrate deeper and and, and it's not gonna come across as too desperate. Because look, man, when you don't when you're not hard to get, you you run you run the the danger of looking desperate, you know? Like some people might not see you desperate, but you don't know how people think. You don't know how people think. People, everyone is different. You know, and, and, and it's true. Like, you know, if you don't like me for being myself, okay, I get it. I, I totally get it. But sometimes there are genuine people or genuine situations where if you would have, if you would have just held back a little bit, it would have worked out a little bit better. You know, and, and it's not that they didn't like you, but that just the situation called for a little bit more self, um, a little more self restraint. And a lot of us just don't do it because we're just impatient and we rationalize our lack of restraint with being expressive. Being myself, being real, right? And that just causes people to just lose a tiny respect for you. Not a lot, but a tiny. Enough for, enough for you for them to try you. Because if you actually do this, what would tend to happen is that people would just get more, more romantic with you. They'll, cook you. they'll cook you food unnecessarily. They'll do romantic gestures to you un completely unnecessarily. You know, they'll, they'll give you gifts here and there. Like, honestly, like, like that's girls have done that to me. Like, and I really appreciate that. I really do. Like, it's, it's not like I'm, I'm bragging in any way. It's more so like I, I appreciate it that that when you do this, people treat you really nice. You know, when you're hard to get people, you notice how they appreciate you a little bit more. And, and you have to look at it this way, man. People want something to appreciate deeply. And, and you're giving them the gift of appreciating something special and valuable. By playing hard to get, you, they feel like they, 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 they won. They feel like they, 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 they got something special because they worked so hard to get it. And now hard to get isn't just getting them, right? Hard to get is also having them hard, make, um, being harder to understand. And let me explain to you this. You, you know, people say, how do I become, stay mysterious as I, as, as, I, as I get to know this person? Because they're getting to know me and some of the mystery might fade away and i say that's a very good question and let me tell you the answer to that if you focus on improving on yourself if you're always focusing on attacking your weaknesses and improving on yourself you're you're never you're always going to be different every other year in a good way always on the up and up right in other words if you were dating me the past eight years for example you would have noticed that i over the years i've became more calm i became more confident in myself i became more comfortable right and 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 that would have been something new for the, for her to to know. Like every year, she's like, you know, I thought I understood you, but all of a sudden, you're just more calm. All of a sudden, what the fuck? You partying a lot? All of a sudden, what the fuck? Like I thought I thought you were healed, but all of a sudden now he's not partying. Now he's doing meditation retreats. Wow, that's crazy. All of a sudden now he's really doing meditation retreats. What the fuck? All of a sudden now he loves walking dogs. He goes and do walk dogs. All of a sudden, wow, that's crazy. I, you, you know, when you keep improving on yourself, like for example, me, I have two, I have three groups right now, drawing, meditation, and no, yes, two groups, right? And this usually, this happened because of the meditation retreat. I, I just feel more confident, I'm be, if I'm being honest with you. I just feel like I, I could do more. And if you were dating me, you would have seen those changes and those changes would have kept you on your toes. So if you're born, if you're boring the person, it's because you're not improving on yourself, motherfucker. Like you gotta improve on yourself. You gotta. Re so that that means if you're if you if you if you're big, let, I, I'm gonna just keep it real. If you're big, that means you're improving yourself and you get skinny. Okay, you get healthy, motherfucker. All right, you get healthy. That means if you're a guy and you're skinny, you keep improving on yourself and you build muscles. Boom. Now that's different. That means if you're someone who's emotionally stupid, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god, be nice. Okay. If you're emotionally, you know, silly. 
you improving on your emotions will cause a person to say, wow, that's a different side to them. I did not see that. As you can see, you don't have to play games to be mysterious. You just have to grow as a person. And the mystery we, and the mystery will come with it. And even growing at for the worst, like honestly, like it's kind of crazy, but, but the, like as long as it's different, people will take it. People will take it and it'll be interesting. A lot but more interesting than someone who stays the same for 30 years, all right? All right, people. Anyways, this is how it's done, man. If you guys want to work with me one on one, go to myfaltraction.org and like to talk to me. And I'll see you guys later. All right, guys. We're gonna have a brief intermission so that I could tell you guys about our new bundle that we're doing, where you guys can purchase all of my courses and get it at a discount. So this bundle is pretty much um, the bundle where you could just buy all of my courses. You could buy um, Nice Guy, which is a training course on how to come across more assertive how to come across more confident, um, how to not give off nice guy vibes. You guys can get access to Dark Game, um, which is my folk dating course on how to meet women in different scenarios, how to attract women, how to make sure you don't come across as creepy, and essentially how to act like a man and not act like a doofus, to be quite honest with you. Um, and you get all of these bonuses, which is the bonuses of Dark Game, the bonuses of Practical Mastery, uh, which is about how to master a skill, Social Mastery, which is how to master your social life, and the Laws of Human Nature, which is a book club video that I had dissecting Robert Greene's book. You, all of this is naturally at around 238, 200, no, naturally is at $346, but you guys can purchase this bundle and get it at, what, what's the price again? Uh, get it at um, two. 238 pretty much um so you guys can purchase it right now um it's a money money back 30 day money back guarantee uh it's a good way to rather than just buying them individually and paying extra you guys can just purchase everything at a discount price now the only thing i don't like is the fact that i'm giving you a lot of information at the same time that makes me kind of scared because a lot of times people don't do the things that i teach when i when you get too much information but i've gotten too many requests to do this so i'm just satisfying you guys purchase it right now by clicking on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle all right let's continue with the video